Morning everyone, how have we been? So we've got a couple of weeks yet till the Christmas is coming up. So what I thought I'd show you today is a lot of us are still rushing around and we're kind of sitting down in our jobs or obviously sitting down where you have meals for a period of time or driving around all the time, rushing around, trying to get places. So um, what I'm gonna show you today is a hip flexor stretch. So you can imagine when you're sitting down, what happens here is our hips become really, really tight and fixed. And we've done about shoulder stretches as well, so our posture becomes slouching. So we did the shoulders before, we're just gonna look at the hips now. So we're gonna try and stretch these hips out. So the hip flexors here are getting quite short and they get weak as well. So I'm just looking at strengthening them, uh, lengthening them today. So just trying to take the tension out of the hips. So what I'm gonna do, use a chair. And you can probably still have some pads on the floor. So you can use cushions at home and use your sofa. Um, I know I've got shoes on, but I'll just take your shoes, don't get tired of. Um, we're going to kneel down. So I'll kneel down on the pads and put my foot up on the chair. So I do this a lot in the sessions here in the gym uh, as an active rest period when we're doing just my activity in the gym. So what we're going to do is put the foot on the chair and then I'm just going to come down and rest my knee on the pad. So from here, I'm just going to sit and just stretch forward. I'm trying to keep myself in the so back a little bit. So I'm just going to stretch forward through that hip. Okay, so I'm relaxing this foot behind me. And I'm just going to, from here, gently, gently, gently push the hip forward because my knee's coming forward. With the knee, I want you to keep, make sure the knee and the hip are in line. And obviously the knee can come forward with the toes, it's not a problem, so you've got flexion in the ankle. Keep the foot flat on the floor, okay? If you're leaning forward and you find your heel comes off, just take your foot forward, but push the knee forward with the toes, all right? And then actually keep upright, and then gently stretch forward. So I'll try and move a little bit more for you. See you, mate. And then you're going to push forward. So that stretch is happening in the front of this hip here. So what I don't want to do is slouch, just keep upright, gently push forward through the chest, and I've got the stretch there in front of my hip. Now to take that, crease that a little bit more, what I can I bring my hand up opposite side of the knee and gently just externally rotate. So I'm going to feel the stretch as I stretch, as I internally rotate the hand, external rotation of this hip, so I feel that stretch straight away in that hip. That's where the psoas muscle attaches, it comes down the ribs and comes down inside that hip. You get a little bit more stretch out, so it's designed to do that, okay, so we're gonna stretch that hip out. So just breathe out, and you don't need to stretch out. So we can repeat that, so you don't have 30 seconds, take it off, swap sides, do it again, you can do that three or four sets on that one. It's a good stretch to do, especially when you got home from work or you've been shopping around, just to try that tension off the hips. Give it a go, guys, let me know how you get on. Great one to do. Because what happens here as well is if our hips get tight, our posture changes, everything's drawn forward. We've got that anterior tilt of that hip, and it puts a lot of pressure on the lower back. So I want to take that tension off and just literally stretch forward. So, let me know how you go. Thank you for watching very much. My name is Mark Marks. How about our fitness? Cheers, guys. Bye bye.